So basically what I'm doing here is I'm making a collection of markers, acrylic markers, so I can go out in the field and do some plein air sketching. I wanted to use something that was a little bit different uh, from painting and a little bit quicker, a little easier to haul. Now I'm using golden high flow acrylics here in this titanium white. These are fairly easy to load up. You just have to make sure that you put that little plug back in when you get them filled. Now this is uh, golden fluid acrylics and it's a little bit thicker than the high flow acrylics so I want to make sure that I add uh, lots of the other pigment in there. E either that or add a little bit of water into it because it's just it's just a little you know more viscous. So um, I want to make a, a selection of pigments that you know cover the gamut. I want to have some color that's uh, warm and cool versions of each hue and also I want a nice selection of values. Now I'm thinking that I can use a lot of raw umber, uh, perhaps even black. Now here I'm, I'm trying to get that to come out of the, the tip and it can be, you know, take a few seconds to kind of pump that through. But this one is a very, has a very broad tip on it and I'm using that basically to, you know, block in the sky really fast. I'm thinking that, you know, most of the sky will be, you know, sort of a flat color. It's fairly straightforward to load these up, as you can see. It just uh, sometimes I'll, I'll mix the colors. Obviously, this one is not mixed. You got to make sure you put that plug in. A few times I forgot, and it it does sort of mess up, you know, things. But you can clean them up. Now, notice that the the threads are opposite. I don't know why, but they're opposite uh, normal threads. So that's one thing to keep in mind. See there, I'm trying to open it the other way then it there you go good job so um, keep that in mind that'll drive you a little bit crazy at first but this is a um, transparent earth red earth I believe and um, I've, I've already got a pre mixed and ready-made uh, burnt sienna so this will be a nice uh, adjunct to that one thing I did think was that um, as I use up some of my pigments, I can add other pigments. So after I've tried these colors out, I can add other colors to sort of decide if I want to gray them down a little bit or if I need to make them a little more transparent or, you know, you know change to the values by adding white. So we'll just see how it goes after this first session but I really won't know until, until I try it. So I do have quite a nice selection of colors. You know, it's nowhere near uh, as many colors as say a pastelist would use out in the field. But I'm hoping that I can sort of, I'm gonna bring a few brushes with me so I can lay on a layer of color and then maybe blend. I'm not sure, you know, how flexible, you know, the overlaying process will be. Now I did have some success in my younger days when I uh, would go out in the field and I would just sketch with four or five different colors. I had black, blue, red, yellow, uh, and I just I would use stipples. And so this is kind of a variation of that idea, uh, a pointillistic approach to color, a field effect color uh, where you mix visually using you know, dashes and dots. So. I have high hopes. Um, some of my colors uh, went a little bit strange. You know, that color went fairly cool. When you add white, it always cools the color down. So, you know, at a later point, I may uh, add you know, other hues into this. But I'm trying to obviously get that to be, you know, greenish. I do feel like perhaps my selection of greens is a little inadequate and maybe it would be better to have some more grayed, grayed out greens. But like I say, I'm gonna to try to lay down some burnt sienna, some raw umber and that sort of thing underneath and then paint over the top and get the gray I need. So it's just a matter of experimenting and seeing, seeing what I need. So those greens look pretty good actually. So uh, my 
it it might work out great so I'm going to tint my canvas next and I'm going to tint it with just a very faint uh, pink color I think that'll be good for the greens this time of year and we'll see how it goes so the next one I'll be out in the field painting away with these so wish me luck and we'll see you then